Okay. So, what are the options in technical settings? Data class and size category. These two are the mandatory parameters. At least data class is required. What is data class? APPL row. APPL 0, it's not O. APPL 0. APPL 0 is for master data. APPL 1 is for transaction data. How can you say it is it a master data table or transaction data table? Go back. How can you decide? How can you decide whether it is a master data table or transaction data table? Observe these fields. What are these fields? Customer ID, customer name, city, and phone number. What type of data it is generally? Customer ID, name, city, and phone number. Hmm? What type of data? Is there any transactions here? Like uh, amount what he deposit or amount what the what he withdrawed or his salary, anything we have here, no right? Awesome. So this kind of data it is a master data. Okay, now go to technical settings and maintain data class and uh, size category. So what are the options in uh, technical settings? What are the options in technical settings? Delivery class, data class, and size category. Data class and size category. What What is data class? You have to select it is master data or uh, transaction data. Or whether it is a master data or transaction data. What is size category? Size category is approximate number of records going to store in this table. So in interviews, uh, they will definitely ask this question. What is size category? And also they will ask. What if that size is exceeded? Then what do you have to answer? 0 to 6 cards. Sorry, what? Approximately. Ah, so in size category, you provide approximate number of records. But let's say you have selected 0 as uh, your size category. After some days, after some years, this limit got exceeded. Then what will happen? It will, allow. it will automatically extend the limit okay it won't uh, raise any error clear why already it is predefined 0 to 3 3400 for example why it is allowing it's again started 0 to 3 actually in this one uh, uh, see we have provided approximate lim limit only approximate memory required for this table okay let's create 2 mb of space for this table in database we are defining that okay this table may required this much memory in the database to store the data so please allocate that memory we are saying that okay let's say in your company you have 2000 employees and provided size category as uh, go to technical settings provided size category as 7 what is 7 34 lakhs to 69 lakhs is it is it required for your company so when you select this uh, this is going to allocate uh, maybe 100 MB space for this table because you are saying that I may need to save 34 lakhs to 69 lakhs records in this table. Then the system will allocate 100 MB or I don't know the exact size but let's assume 100 MB memory in the database. It's waste of memory, right? Waste of database, right? We are wasting the database memory, right? That's why we select approximate size. Okay? You know, like uh, the bank people know what are the approximate number of customers they have. Okay? Similarly, they will choose this size category. Okay? So these are these two are very important data class size category and delivery class please make a note 
today you have to read about data class size category and delivery class okay clear you have to maintain data class and size category in technical settings now now our table creation is completed our table creation is completed what we did we have selected the delivery class that is a is it a application table or a customizing table <clears throat> application table is to store master data or transaction data anything it might be a master data or transaction data that is application table customizing table that is c <coughs> c is for system configurations c is for uh, system configurations table now we are creating application data table which is which is which is used to store business data okay so in interviews they will ask what is the difference between uh, delivery class and data class what you have to answer in delivery class we select so what is the <clears throat> type of the table we are creating is it a application table or customizing table application table is for master data and transaction data customizing tables are for system configurations that is about delivery class the type of the table what we are creating is defines a delivery class what is data class data class defines what type of data you are creating is it a master data or transaction data clear is it a master data or transaction data for master data it is appl0 and for transaction data it is appl1 clear so in tables at least one primary key is required when you are creating a table at least one primary key is required mandatory okay i have selected customer id as a primary key and provided the fields and maintained the technical settings that is data class and size category and uh, now what we need to do check the syntax of the table so i got some wa warnings I got some warnings enhancement category for the table is missing enhancement enhancement category for includes is missing please ignore this whenever you see this for now just ignore this warning okay just ignore this warning I'm uh, okay when you need to uh, like I am removing this as primary key now there is no primary keys there is no primary keys here just check it What is it saying? This is the error. Specify a primary key. This is the error. You have to correct this missed error. Okay. I'm selecting this as primary key and check the syntax. Save it. So there is no errors. Okay. Now activate the table. Click on no. Ignore the warnings. You don't need to consider the warnings. Just activate the table okay you can click on yes you can see these warnings just go back don't need to worry about those, those warnings now i'll show you how to uh, correct that in later okay so now our table is ready okay do you have any questions till now do you have any questions no i understand okay, okay. Now, no. how to check the data in this table? Now we have created the metadata, but how to check the data? Did we create any data in this table? Did we create any data in this table? Can you find any records in this table? No, sir. No, no. because it's a new, t we just created it. We need to store data. Okay. We go to contents. Number of entries are zero. Execute zero. Now, how to create records in this table usually we create records through programs we enter some data in the screen and click on uh, save then uh, the program will insert data into this table okay but what is the other way we can create some test records in the table level also go to utilities go to 
text element maybe uh, utilities you are right utilities table contents utilities table yeah. contents and create entries clear now enter some customer id 100 name name of uh, 100 city hyderabad phone number some some phone number okay now click on save now click on save I am creating one more record. <laughs> when I am trying to save again, it is displaying the error, a data record with the specified key already exists when I am click save again because the 100 record is already created in the table it won't accept uh, the same record again okay let's change uh, change the customer ID to 101 save data record successfully created let's create one more record I need to change the primary key that is mandatory okay the remaining things are uh, not mandatory Okay. Save. Okay. Now go to contents. Number of entries. We have three records in the table. Click on execute. These three are the records of this table. Clear. This is the primary key. Customer ID is the primary key. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. This is how we create records in the table. Now, now if, if you want to check your table, enter your table name GDMO customer and click on display. Go to contents and execute. You can see records of your table. Right? If you want to change the table, change it. If you want to add custom, another few more fields, add the fields. If you want to change anything here, change it. Okay? But if you go for a master table, standard table and click on change. Okay? It will show you error message. For a namespace, only if they are urgent. Okay? It is not recommended to change the standard table. You can enhance it. I will show you how to enhance the standard table. Okay. Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay.